So the video today is a video that I haven't really seen in the last couple of years. So I decided why not just make it myself. So as you can see here, I have a bunch of different alterations made to trade settings. I turned the trade deadline off. I turned financial trade rules off and I have trade frequency turned on to 100. I have three seasons with an NBA team. I will get at random whatever trades I must accept. Here I have a little wheel. We are going to spin said wheel. Whatever team it lands on will be the team that we use for the sim. And that will be the Memphis Grizzlies, most likely. Yep. Since we are doing multiple seasons of this, I will be using actual draft classes. I also have full control of the team in the off season. I can do whatever I want with the team as long as I'm aware that I'm going to have to trade them if prompted. This is the current team. I'm going to make sure these guys aren't on like no trade clauses or anything like that. They're not. Okay. Jaws monster contract does not kick in until next year. So I'm a little stuck. This guy would be really good if we end up trading for Jaw, or this could be really bad. But I don't know. We're going to find out. I'm going to sim to the all-star break and we're going to see how different the team looks. And the first trade of the video, De'Aaron Fox and Malik Monk for Jaron Jackson Jr. and David Roddy. I have to trade him. I don't really have a choice here. Jaron Jackson's been shooting like shit. De'Aaron Fox, he's shooting 70% from the field as a point guard. And like, if I didn't have Ja, I would be really hype about this. But again, I have to do it. So welcome to the squad. Grizzly started the year 5-0. and oh. I have a brief feeling that's not going to last long. Okay, I kind of like this trade actually. Malik Monk and John Conchar for Bull Bull and Mo Wagner. I actually like this trade. The main one I'm scared about giving up here is Ja. And we have to give up Bull Bull now for Buddy Yield. And we have to give up Desmond Bain for Terry Rochier. Our cap's gonna be hell too. Like, look at it already. Look at our salary cap room. It's already in the negative. And we're taking on so much more cap just with Terry Rochier alone. I hate this trade, but we gotta do it. Okay, I kind of like this trade. Buddy healed for Walker Kessler and an unprotected second. If anything, the unprotected second will work in the offseason as trade bait. So I will take that. Dylan Brooks for Terrence Davis. I do get, oh, I get an unprotected pick in 2027. That holds a little value. I have to give up a second rounder in 2023. I'm fine with that though. Dylan Brooks is a good defender though. That's going to be a missed presence on the team. Okay, we have to give up Terry Rozier and Brandon Clark for Draymond Green and Udoka Azubuki. Honestly, I actually really enjoy this trade. Yeah, Terry Rozier sucks. I really, really like this trade. Lonnie Walker in a 2025 Lakers pick for Draymond. Oh man. Ryle Nito in a 2026 first from Cleveland for Steven Adams. That, okay, that's gonna fucking hurt. Oh my God. So now we're down like one of the best rebounding centers in the NBA. And we have to give up Walker Kessler now for Clint Capella. I hope he doesn't tear his patella. And we're taking on a ton of cap. Of course, we're taking on a ton of cap. What else is new? So we're going to get Bobo back on the team. We have to give up Clint Capella. Bobo, welcome back to the team. Trey Lyles in a 2026 first for Bobo. We're racking up the first. What is that? His third or fourth team of the year? I'm sure we'll see him back at some point. Grizzlies are still winning games. Norman Powell for PJ Washington in the second. I like this move, actually. A first round pick in Theo Pinson for Tyus Jones. I mean, there are some positives. It's a two star pick and Theo Pinson's barely making anything. We trade Tyus Jones. We're pretty much going to be out of the red in terms of salary cap. But Tyus Jones is a really good role player. Okay, I kind of like this one. It's a lottery protected pick and Pokashevsky. Oh my God, we have to give up De'Aaron Fox, though. Ooh, that is rough. Okay, Poku's actually been good though, so uh, I'll take it. We're we have a relatively young team with a lot of potential. And we're going to just give up Lonnie Walker for Kyle Lowry. That's nice. And we're trading Poku for Buddy Heald. Welcome back to the team, Buddy Heald. A six-game winning streak. Seven. Seven-game winning streak. You okay, this what? is actually like... Oh my god, no. So we have to give up campaign for Kyle Lowry. We're on a six game losing streak and we are second in the West. Ja has to be doing a hard carry right now, right? Not enough to be in the MVP race, I guess. 38 and 8 and he's on 59% shooting as a guard and he's not. Okay. Javon Carter and a 2026 first for Norman Powell and a 2026 second. We get Mason Plumley. I want to end the video right now. We're getting Mason Plumley. I don't care what we have to give up. I don't care if we're giving up nothing for Mason Plumley. The fact that we're getting Mason Plumley just makes me want to give up on the video already. So we're getting Sengun for Buddy Hield in a top three protected first. We're going to need that first rounder, I feel like. And we're getting Bull Bull back for the 15th fucking time. And we have to give up Mo Wagner in a first rounder. Luca wins MVP. 
Paolo wins rookie of the year. De'Aaron Fox wins sixth man on the Thunder. Giannis wins deep boy. Trey Murphy most improved. John makes first team. That's cool. Going up against Portland in the first round. Win game one. They win game one. We win game three. Game four. They win game five. And game six. Okay, if they're not out of it. Yeah, it's over. So they blow a 3-1 just for the Blazers to get swept. It's a Mavs Celtics finals. Celtics win, Tatum wins finals MVP. So now it's my time. I can do whatever. Did I have any picks at all? From Oh shit, we have Washington's pick. Okay, so we don't have Washington's pick. Okay, never mind then. All right, so let's see. Let's look at a trade offer. I kind of like this one for Nikola Jovic, but I don't want to give up another pick. Babakar Miller, he is 19 years old and he is a small forward and I kind of like this trade, so we're going to do it. So this one I'm just going to pick. It's a very late second. I'm going to take Amari Bailey is here. Yeah, I'm going to take Amari Bailey. This pick I do not want, so I'm just going to give it for a second. The Knicks ended up with Scoot Henderson and the Rockets ended up with Victor Wembenyama. I'm going to accept Sengun, Bowl. Javon Carter declined his. He can go eat a dick. Everyone else here, yeah, they can, they can walk if they want let's see who's available in free agency more importantly will i be able to afford anyone in free agency i can't afford people in free agency nice i could use a small forward or power forward chris middleton would be a solid option i am kind of looking to win now i'm thinking chris middleton or i'm thinking Kyrie. Ooh, Kyrie and john morant would be very interesting in theory. I'm gonna offer Kyrie a pretty hefty deal for like maybe, yep, that's the max I can give him. And he's going to the Pacers, fuck me. Okay, James Harden, I'll offer you the max money. Where are you going? You're going back to Philly, nice. Chris Middleton? <laughs> oh my God. Harden signs with the Sixers. Kyrie goes to the Pacers. All right, Chris Middleton, what's up, buddy? You've always been my first choice. How about I give you... 35 mil for four years okay there we go we should get chris middleton okay we're gonna get chris middleton he's a little overpaid but also if we have to give him up i'm not gonna cry about it kyle kuzma tempts me i think i'm gonna try to get kyle kuzma as well putting together a little squad i do kind of want to get someone that's not amari bailey to be our starter but i don't want seth curry either gary harris he's a good defender and he's still only like 28 ish i'll sign him for three years sign a third stringer the third stringer will be i will sign Peyton Pritchard. John Morant's a 98. Here's what the team's looking like currently. I don't think this team's good enough to win a championship, but I feel like once all of the inevitable moves, I guess we signed Kendrick Nunn at some point. Once all the inevitable moves happen, I know John Morant's probably not going anywhere, so I kind of like my chances of having a good playoff spot. First trade of the year. We have to give up Kyle Kuzma. How's he been? He's been solid, uh, so that's a little disappointing. I do get it unprotected first though, so. Rudy Gobert for Sengun in the 2028 first. Aaron Gordon for Bull Bull in the 2027 first. I actually kind of like this. Aaron Gordon's a good defender. I don't like having to give up the first and I'm sure we'll see Bull Bull again at some point in this video. Okay, so Aaron Gordon is actually meshing well with the team. And someone I was gonna get in free agency is Porzingis and we're gonna get him now for Chris Middleton in an unprotected first. Rudy Gobert going for Tyus Jones in an unprotected first. Welcome back to Memphis, Tyus Jones. They have a really solid record right now. So we're getting Rudy Gobert back on the team as well as THT for Porzingis and Kendrick Nunn. It's sad, I was kind of liking Porzingis here, but Terry Rogier's coming back to the team too. We have to go up Aaron Gordon for him. And I liked how Aaron Gordon was fitting too, of course. And we get Bogdan Bogdanovich and Tim Hardaway Jr. for Zaire Williams and Amari Bailey. I wanted to keep Amari Bailey so bad. Steven Adams is coming back to the team. And we also get a 2024 pick from Cleveland for Babakar Miller, the guy we drafted or the guy we traded for in the draft. Jared Vanderbilt for THT in the 2024 first. Doesn't really break my heart too much. I like Jared Vanderbilt. And speaking of Jared Vanderbilt, we're gonna have to trade him. And Gary Harris for, okay, I don't mind having Bobby Portis up. We get a lottery protected first for Terry Rozier and a second. We also get the lawn right. And we're trading Bogdanovich in a 2024 first for Kevin Herter. Kevin Herter shooting 46% from three. I'm cool with that. And we get Chris Duarte for Jalen Noel. All right. And we are giving up Kevin Herter in a 2024 top protected pick for Macau Bridges. I thought it was the other Bridges. And it looks like that'll help us. And we're getting Lowry Bird. Let's go. He's averaging 12 points on the year. Let's fucking go. And and what's most likely going to be the final trade of the year. We're getting back Poku for Rudy Gobert. Luka wins MVP. 
Victor wins Rookie of the Year. De'Aaron Fox, sixth man again on the Thunder. Evan Mobley, Depoy. Evan Mobley, most improved. Ja on All-NBA First Team. Jaron Jackson Jr. on the Kings, what might have been. We're going up against New Orleans. Sim through Game 1. Memphis picks up the win. Sim through Game 2. They pick up the win. Game 3, we win. Game 4, they win. Game 5, they win. And I'm going to have to go through Simcast now. Wow, this team just sucks. Oh my god. Ja did the best he could, but it just wasn't enough, sadly. And it's a Dallas-Boston rematch. Boston wins in six. Tatum. Oh, Jalen Brown wins MVP. I was prepared to say Tatum. No trade deadline. Fuck that. Okay, Memphis has some pretty decent odds currently. And okay, so six pick. Who is in this draft class? I'm going to try to trade up a little bit. I guess I could get Xavier Booker. All right, let's see if this trade works. It doesn't. Okay. How about if I give you another... Okay, there we go. It works. Awesome. He's not already taken, is he? He was taken first by the Thunder. Okay, dude. Well, you know what that means. We're going to go get him from the Thunder. I don't care about picks, so I can literally give him whatever they want. All right, so I guess he doesn't exist on the Thunder. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm literally just going to draft uh, Ron Holland. 7-3 Wingspan has a ceiling of LeBron James, and I can't wait to see him get traded for a second round pick and Xavier Tillman. Oh, these other picks I'm just going to trade. I don't really want those second rounders. I'll bring back Bondon Bogdanovich on a three-year deal. I'll sign Pokashevsky to a four-year deal because I feel like no one's going to trade for Poku if I jack up his price. Tyus Jones, I'll sign you to a deal too. Since this is the final season, I don't care about draft classes. We're just going to start simming, and whenever there are trades, you'll... Same, same as the whole fucking video. You'll see it. And first trade, we're giving up Lowry Markkinen for... Who the fuck is this dude? Oh, he's the fourth pick in this year's draft. He sucks a little bit. And we're getting Terry Rozier back. We have to give up Bobby Portis, who is having a really solid year. He's averaging a double-double. That's... That's, that's that's what I want to give Bobby Portis up for. And we're saying goodbye to Terry Rozier once again. We're getting Kevin Porter Jr. And we're saying goodbye to Kevin Porter Jr. We're getting Malik Monk back. And we're saying goodbye to Malik Monk now for Bones Island, who's averaging 18. Why the fuck would they ask for this trade? And say goodbye to Bones Island. We're trading him for Kevin Herter. And say goodbye to Kevin Herter. Jesus Christ, we're getting Daniel Gafford. I don't think I've seen Daniel Gafford yet in this video, right? And we're saying goodbye to Daniel Gafford, of course. And we're saying goodbye to our rookie in a first for Josh Giddy. Oh my, I just realized it's Josh Giddy. Let's go. Okay, I'm hype. I'm hype. I'm hype. Yeah, we got John Giddy. We got John Giddy. We're going to the fucking promised land, baby. Woo! Oh yeah, baby. Rack up these wins. I don't care if they're against the Knicks. Let's go. I just realized something with the curse that's been going over me recently in this rebuild. If I have to trade Josh Giddy, I thought I was going to have to trade Josh Giddy there. So let's see if we're good on the year then if we don't have to trade Josh Giddy or not. And we have to give up Poku for Bobby Portis. I'm happy with that. Welcome back, Bobby Portis. This team is actually coming around this is looking like a decent playoff team has a 99 overall too in john moran so that, that helps and it looks like we don't i don't think we're gonna have to make any more trades <gasps> no! oh! fuck man fuck we're getting kyrie irving he's having a good season but that's not the point he's so pretty he's so pretty i thought i was gonna get off scot-free and in the final trade of the video, we are trading Kyrie Irving and this dude, Nicola, whatever, for Andrew Wiggins and Rudy Gobert. I assume this is the final trade of the video. I'm not going to lie. This makes this team like a lot better in depth. So like it, it, it's whatever. Luka wins MVP. Xavier Booker, who we wanted to draft wins rookie of the year. Darren Fox, six man once again. Anthony Davis, deep boy on the Knicks. Dyson Daniels, most improved. John not on first. Team. He's on second team. He averaged 31, 31, eight and almost nine and was second team against LaMelo Ball. Okay. LaMelo Ball had a double double. I, I understand. So we have the four seed. We're going up against the Sacramento Kings. Here is the final roster before I start simming. We have John Moran, Bogdan Bogdanovich, Andrew Wiggins, Dario Saric, and Rudy Gobert. Bobby Portis, Tyus Jones, Tim Hardaway Jr., Xavier Tillman, and then these guys. Our fucking third overall pick has even played him. He's barely played any NBA minutes. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, let's just let's just send through. Game one, pick up the win. Game two, pick up the win. Game three, pick up the win. Are we gonna win our first series in the video? Yes, we are. We are going up against the Thunder. Game one, they pick up the win. Game two, OKC wins. Game three, Memphis wins. Game four, Memphis wins. Game five, they go on to the Western Conference Finals, and we're facing Victor Wembanyama. No, fuck. So it's Ty Ty Washington, Jalen Green, Michael Porter Jr., Jabari Smith Jr., and Victor Wembenyama. Game one, Houston wins. Game two, Memphis wins. Game three, Houston wins. Game four, Houston wins. And I'm going to start sim casting. I feel like this might be Joker, though. Yep, it's over.
It's mad over. God damn it. And Darius Garland and Victor Wembanyama win those bullshit finals MVP awards. Hey, we don't have Boston and Dallas in this anymore. So that, that's cool. The Cavs win the chip. Darius Garland wins finals MVP. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is probably the most fun I've had recording a video, to be honest. If you guys are new and want to see some more videos like this, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. He dropped 59 points, 59 points in 12 assists in a series clinching game. Oh my, in game seven. Okay, nah, okay, okay. But yeah, that's it for me though. I will see you all in the next video. Oh wow, peace out. Hey.